Hey guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. Today I'm doing another driving lesson with my nephew. Loves it. And today's lesson, we're going to continue working with what we were doing last lesson, which is to address some of these smaller roads, smaller junctions, making sure that you're switching back into first gear mm. when the entrance is narrow or lots of parked vehicles. That will be in the first half of today's lesson. Then we're going to be working with dealing with hazards on the main road. Yeah. Um, going up into third gear a bit more and then when it comes to approaching roundabouts, bends, turns and stuff and independently gearing back down. Okay. But yeah, really well done for passing your uh, theory test this week, so that's great. So hopefully, he's looking to try and get his test in soon, but he knows there's a long wait, so um, it'll be a few months before we get that in anyways. So we're going to get started now, but don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You ready to get started? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try and cut down my instruction as we're going, okay? So when you're ready. You have your heated seat on, yeah? <laughs> Okay, so when you're ready, let's get started. So drive off. Show me how you would drive off on your own, please, love jet. Okay. <laughs> it's not a fault as long as you uh, don't actually move off. You can take the next road on your left, please, Logic. Okay, well done. But remember, we can't turn in to every road in second gear like that. Yeah. Do you want me to prompt you with changing back to first, or you want to try it on your own now? Because we tried to do that last time. So you can do it on your own? End of the road, turn right. What's your right foot doing? in a straight line you could see the lady was there yeah so we don't want to go into the cycle lane and then we'll wait at an angle is it Do you understand why I had to tell you to stop with that pedestrian at the top? Yeah. So how would you approach that for next time? Um, stopped in the road straight. Yeah, rather than angling. Turning half me into the same way. Yeah, because then it's a bit scary for the pedestrian as well. Yeah, if there was a cyclist, it would have been dangerous. It would have been dangerous had it been a cyclist as well, yes. This road's a 20 now. Yeah, all of these residential roads are 20, you can see signs. Well, that felt a bit close, didn't it? You should have just brake clutch in the first. Mm -hmm. And when you're checking your side mirrors more often, I don't really see you checking when you're moving. All it's going to take is one cyclist. So now check before moving and then move out of his way. Thank you. Two cars can 
a bit down this road easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bit tight. squeeze to the left because the two cars can't fit here easily. Your position needs to tell the car in front that the road's not wide enough for two. If you kind of try and drive on your side they'll come in thinking that you can fit two. Okay. Come over to the left fully, yeah. So like here for example, would you say two cars can fit here? No. Next to the white car in the island? Yes they can. Here, here it's a lot wider. Back there we had parked cars level and the road was much tighter. Well done. Good. Just look both ways before you go forward at the crossing. And continue all the way. Now roundabout, let's turn right. Good, now steady. So I want you watching the traffic ahead as well as the traffic on the right to figure out your gap. No, stop that. That's why I had. Really? Yeah. Slowly go forward. Alright, begin the right turn. That was not a safe gap. Yes? Go slowly, speed up a little bit, check the right side. We're going to move over to the right slowly because they're parked cars. Um, just step off the accelerator. We're looking for a place to park if there is one, okay? There's no rush, just drive normal for now. A single yellow line or a parking bay is what we're looking for at the moment. Do you think we can pull in there behind the silver car? Is that a space? Yeah. Okay, we're good. No, probably not. Um, no, we'll go on a bit further, okay? We'll talk about it later. I know, I know. In terms of the gap being there, it's a very small window that you're trying to fit into. And the other guy was coming in fast. Plus, on his right, he had no reason to slow down. So that's why he's coming in faster. So we shouldn't have taken that, okay? Okay, now look at this diagram here. We're going to follow signs towards Sheen. You know what you're doing? Okay. Hold on with the mirrors. You can hear him, can't you? Yeah, the biker. Awesome. Yeah? Tell everyone where you're going, please. Alright, now have a look. Can we go? Yeah. Turn a little bit closer to the roundabout, it's fine. You can see the lights aren't flashing. This is another level crossing. Okay, we're going to pull in here. Just slow down, signal left, brake and clutch. Slow it right down. We're going to stop on the road, but slow it down a lot more. Keep going forward a bit more. Not too close, not too close. That's fine there. Keep the wheel straight. Good, just watch the front and judge the space rather than the left mirror so much. Secure the car, please. Okay, I had to stop you at that roundabout. Yeah. What happened? No, I thought because you know how he didn't have an indicator and I thought he was turning left. So I went thinking he was going to go left and yeah, he didn't. He actually had a right indicator on. 
I know initially they didn't have a signal and then they had a signal. Mm. But that's the person that we have to give priority to. Now, the only time that would have been a safe gap to take is if the person in front is coming straight and blocking them off. Okay. But that wasn't the case, which is why I, before that roundabout I said, watch the traffic in front and the traffic on your right. Mm. Now, the guy on your right is coming in and then the, the guy in front, the traffic in front, they're turning left yeah. into the same road we were going into, which meant this person on your right, he's, he's going to just continue to make progress. Yeah. And you've got to think, he's coming in at, like let's say, 10 miles per hour. But we already stopped, we're stationary. Mm. So when we move off from that position, it's going to take you longer to move off than it is for him to enter. Yeah. So you see why that was an unsafe gap? Yeah. Okay? Right. So make sure that we're not taking risky opportunities. If you're unsure, I'd rather you be a bit cautious, a bit hesitant. It doesn't matter, you're learning at this point. Yeah. But we can't take risky gaps like that. Right. Okay? Right. So how are you going to assess whether or not you can take that gap next time? So if I see on the right, if I see someone with the right indicator, check the person in front to see if they're going to go straight and block him off. Yeah. That's when I can go. And that's only if the person in front can actually come in as well. Yeah. So because the person in front will be waiting for you as well. Bear that in mind. Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a domino effect. You kind of knock into each other. You said, not, not literally, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the person in front, make sure that they're coming in to block and that's your gap. Right. But then you've also got to assess the left if there is a turn there. Ready? All right, when you're ready, let's begin. And then move off when you're ready. Again. <laughs> okay. Good, use the accelerator. At least you are realising, which is great. You can feel that the car's resisting the move off, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, the roads are going to get busier now, okay? No. So we've got more main roads and hazards now. So when we get to the roundabout, let's turn right. You're going to do this on your own? Okay. Yeah, okay. Think about what you need to do for your right turn then. two lanes but it kind of is only one so check the right side as you're going forward keep an eye on that Audi it's only one lane once you're in it's really silly road marking here it's like iron bridge yeah but over there there's still two lanes it's, it's just really narrow there but here it's, it goes from two to one in the turn there's probably someone ahead of this bus by the way one more thing you've got to do You should change gear, we can't keep it in second on an uphill gradient, okay? There you go. Steady. Okay, now we're going to be turning right soon. It's not the first set of lights, well done with your mirrors. 
it's the second set of lights, okay? Really good position here as well, because you're in line with the traffic in front. Well done with the accelerator. Can we go round? Should we signal? Just makes it clear for everyone in front and behind. Mm -hmm. um, the traffic lights on the green. Okay, so they're red now. Just focus on where you're stopping. Don't worry about anything else. We're just following the road ahead from here. Okay. Okay, so bike's gonna go before, so as you go forward, be mindful of that sign that's just been knocked down. Yeah. It says 20 on the floor. Yeah, I think it is 20. I, I was surprised you asked me if it was 30, I saw the sign, but... It's another something on the floor here. Okay, so this is kind of a similar scenario to from the roundabout where I had to break. Yeah. So we're going straight. So you can see the Prius is there. So think about who's going to block him off. The car's coming straight. Yeah. But that silver Prius is the opening for him. So let's look for that car from ahead. That will be up. You can't push in, by the way. Okay? Uh, okay. So you can go forward up to the sort of motorbike here because he's not coming in anyways and we can go forward. There's someone right at the front or one of these lot. It's silly. Now check right, can we go? We're only going to get to go in when the traffic in front blocks them. Is he giving you way? Alright, now after this, go forward because there's no one else, right? Okay. Keep checking. Okay. Stop here because the man's there with the dog. Stop. Lovey. Yes, you can see the dog wasn't really slow here because it's not our priority. Can we go? Yeah, think about the tail here as well on this lorry. Maybe, I'm not sure what they were doing there. Maybe. But unless you get a clear signal, we don't want to use that as a maybe, okay? Mm. After this. Okay, checking that mirror then. Start to move over. Turn a lot more. Okay, and then slowly through. Hold on. So left at this roundabout, please. Accelerator. 
afraid to win your foot on the brake. <laughs> Get your foot position sorted out. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> oh, let me just press both. <laughs> okay, when you're ready. closed for so long it's so annoying because it's such a big detour so we're just going forward and as you're going forward check the right side but stay in the left lane because there are two lanes here okay okay now we're going to go forward but we are turning left just before where the man's just crossed there's a turning there He's in the road, so what should we do? On. <laughs> no, just stop. Just go around him if it's safe. He's just, he's just kind of, oh. Be careful, because he's kind of, yeah. If it's safe to get through, then carry on. Yeah, that's fine. He know, I think he knows you're there. He's just doing his own thing. Okay, we're going to turn right at the end, okay? Mm-hmm. struggling in uh, second gear there. If you can pull it and park up on the left here. That's great there, thank you. All right, secure the car. Switch off the engine. All right, that's the end of your driving lesson today, Love Jet. How was your drive today? It's much better than last week, I think. Uh, turning into small roads is much easier now yeah. than last week because I was struggling with the gears, but it's easier now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
what happened at the roundabout. I got confused. But now I you know. know. But now I know, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you did make a, a big mistake on that roundabout where I had to stop you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably the first time I've had to use the duels really. Besides like assisting you here and there yeah. where you shouldn't be going. So yeah, that was uh, quite a surprise to me that you tried to take that gap. But you understand why it was yeah. safer to stop than to go. Now we had a few practices along sort of Fulham Palace Road when we were up that way on the roundabouts and that made more sense when you should be going? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And that reaction time is going to build in with more and more practice, so don't feel like you need to be driving like how you probably see your parents driving. Yeah. But it's been only, what, maybe six hours now at most, if that, in what we've been actually from the very, uh, six hours from the very beginning, okay? Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm going to carry on along with this series doing Love Jits driving lessons. Hopefully He'll be a bit more independent and be better with roundabouts as we're going along. But no, you did do well. I know you made a mistake, but it's fine. It happens as long as you kind of know what you should be doing from here on. If you guys enjoyed that video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's loads of stuff on my TikTok and on my YouTube, as you can see. And um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram too. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Yeah.